Okay, in this uh, video, I'm going to uh, make an attempt here to explain at least one way to go about um, planning a trip of multiple uh, destinations. And we would like to know, as we're uh, carrying out this trip, how, uh, how long it's going to take to go between each one of those points. So in order to do that, what I suggest you do is you use your Garmin to uh, put those different locations into your recently found. And here's how I would go about doing it. First, I would clear out the recently found saved places if there are any. In this case, it's showing that my uh, recently found is already empty. Then, the next thing I would do is go into categories here and uh, scroll down until you see the, the uh, cities option, which is down here. And I would just start putting in the names of those cities as possible places to go to. Now, the easiest way to do that is to probably go up here to the uh, search name and go to different city. So the first city we want to uh, go to is Salem, Oregon. We're going to start in Fairview so we don't need to search that. We, that's where our home is in this example. But we do want to go to Salem, Oregon. And uh, As I showed you before, you might be able to get away with just ORE, GON, and do a search. Now, it's giving you the choice of Salem, Oregon, and we put that into our search criteria here. And we say go. Okay, and it'll calculate that. Now, at this point, our safe places will have Salem, Oregon in it. So, I'm going to go back and just to uh, show the point. Unfortunately, because we're indoors, we're getting these extra messages. So now if I go to where to and I go to recent, it's got Salem, Oregon saved. I go back, I can stop, but it's still saved in my recently pl recent places. Now if we just repeat that same process for, for uh, several of our other destinations, we might try uh, going to Sisters, Oregon next. and it's found it again I'll go ahead and say go on that just to store it now you notice I I went about that a little different instead of going under cities I just did a direct search for it so you can probably go about it either way you can you can tell it you want to look up a city name and then find the city or you can tell it to just do a search for it to see if you find your destination. Now I'm going to go back and hit stop and I'm going to go to where to and see my recent places. So you'll notice that Sisters Oregon is on the top of the list and Salem's Oregon was put to the bottom because it was the prior one that was found. So now I'm going to uh, go for Bend, Oregon as my next stop. And again, I could try categories, go down to cities, 
and it's still going to put me into the search option here now if the city you're looking for is close to you you could just scroll down and see if it's on the list but if it's not in that list you're going to have to go back and search for it anyway so Now it's found Bend, Oregon. I'm going to go there. So I'm uh, I'm basically planning separate trips to separate cities in order to put it into my recently found, and to make sure that it can find the cities each time as well. Okay. So I'm just going to repeat that for several more destinations here on this little trip that I've made up in my mind and we'll see how things go here. So you have to bear with me while uh, we go through this process. I realize this is going to be a little longer demo than necessary, but this is this will uh, show you some advantages to doing a little bit of this trip planning ahead of time. Now I'm going to try Diamond Lake. and you'll notice it couldn't find Diamond Lake so at this point I'm going to go into view the map and I'm going to zoom this puppy out a ways and I'm just going to go down here and find it on the map as if I had opened up my old-fashioned paper map in the car jockey box And I'm going to try and find my uh, one of my favorite lakes here in Oregon, namely Diamond Lake. And I happen to know it's uh, out on Highway 138 west off of Highway 97. And so I've uh, gotten pretty close to it here. This is Diamond Lake. Now I'm going to go down and uh, pick my highway 138 here and I'm just going to touch the highway and I'm going to say go and it's going to save the coordinates of that particular spot on the highway near Diamond Lake. Now at this point I'm going to go in and check what I've got in my recently found and uh, you'll notice it's calling it North Umpqua Highway. Um, I'll just have to remember that particular one is instead of Diamond Lake it's North Umpqua Highway. And uh, we'll head on back here and try to do the same for Crater Lake. We'll see if we can find Crater Lake. And lucky we found that one, so it should have done the same for Diamond Lake, but it didn't. And 
and uh, we're running out of time here so I guess this video is going to be cut a little short now the thing I wanted to point out here let's just say we did that for our first part of the day or the first day of our trip and we'll skip the other ones for now because we got enough things loaded here um, what I'm going to do now is stop the now what's the advantage to doing this well the advantage to doing this is that you can now go into your recently founds and you can scroll down to your first destination and you can start out by just going to that first city and it'll calculate how long it's going to take from your starting point to the first city then if you happen to stop there for gas or stop there for lunch or something like that and you get done uh, visiting that city you'll notice it's uh, giving you an arrival time here so it might you might be starting at two o'clock and you're going to arrive there at three o'clock and then at that point you can stop or it will stop when you get there or you can stop when you get inside the city to your first actual stop now you'll notice that Salem Oregon has been moved to the top and you can scroll back down and you can go to your second city it'll tell you the time or the amount of time it'll take from when you start driving from Salem to Sisters and uh, it'll give you an estimated time of arrival there so you can kind of use that as a methodology for um, figuring out distance between each one of your planned stopping points as you get back into the car and you uh, are seeing you know how long it's going to take to get to the next place in your uh, itinerary then you can go pick your next spot and if you want you can uh, pick a spot hit go and you may want to just drive through the next city and then continue on to the third one depending on how your time is doing <clears throat> now if I add another one past that third stop I went to Ben but let's say I wanted to keep on going until I get to Shamal I can add it to my active route and uh, you'll notice it puts Shamal ahead of Ben but I really want Shamal after Ben so I move it down I hit save and it'll calculate all over again so now it'll route you through Bend and onward to Shamalt. And then maybe you stop in Shamalt for dinner or something before you head on out to Diamond Lake. So you would stop when you get to Shamalt and you go back into your recent and you find your Diamond Lake stopping point and you hit go again so the bottom line what I'm saying here is by clearing out your recently found before your trip and then finding each one of your destination points storing them into your recently found this gives you the opportunity to uh, execute your driving plan or your trip plan and having all of your key points along the trip saved into your recently found without necessarily putting them into your favorites because you may only want them there for this one trip you may not plan on going back to any of these places later on so you don't really want them put into your favorites now when you get all done with that trip again you can go up to the top here and you can clear the recently found and then it's empty again so that you can load it up for your next trip anyway those are just some ideas to uh, help you make better use of the recently found category as opposed to the saved category where you save all your places 
all your favorite friends or relatives or whatever. So uh, just something else to think about while you're using your Garmin and maybe leverage off of it to uh, make a little bit more efficient use of it during your trip planning. Now there is also a trip planning option in the Garmin which uh, I was just reading about the other night and you might want to look that up. There's links below this video and if you go to the links that are below the video in the comments section that'll help you uh, also with another trip planning option. So this is uh, my favorite way of planning trips but you may like the other trip planning option also if you can uh, read about it in the uh, Garmin tutorials online. Anyway have a good day and uh, hopefully that'll help you.